Hey guys, today we are talking about four amps that we have in-house that are under $500 and we're going to give you a chance to sort of see those amps, hear them, find out what the, uh, what the different power levels are, what the different features are on these amps, and then you can decide which one is going to be best for you. So why use an amp at all? Well, they do several things. They do make you louder, amplification. They color your tone, they get some coloration in there, and then there's effects where we can do some effects processing, some signal processing right inside the amp. So maybe you don't have to have quite as many pedals underneath your feet. When we talk about amplification, there are different levels of loud. Home practice, a quiet stage, it's gonna to need to be a little louder because somebody's gotta hear you other than just you. In a quiet stage, I would say like an acoustic situation, with a violin, maybe an acoustic guitar, or if you're just playing with tracks, you're in a room with maybe, I don't know, 30, 40 people. Uh, a loud stage is what I, anything with a drummer, or if you've got an electric guitar player is kind of hitting a little bit. Uh, there's sort of two levels of that. One on a loud stage, do you need your amp to be loud enough for you to hear it? Or do you need it to be loud enough for you to hear it and the whole room hear it? So those, those are kind of two different levels of loud. and. When we start talking about the number of watts in an amp, we start adding zeros to move from one level to the next. Like it's, it's a lot. It's a huge difference in an amp that you're going to use for practicing at home and an amp that you're going to use on stage for an audience to hear over a drummer. Very, very different. Um, in coloration, each amp is going to color your tone some. There's no such thing as a linear amp, which just only takes exactly the sound that you have and just makes it louder. Right, so each one, the preamp, the power amp, and the speaker are all going to affect your tone. And each of these four amps have a different preamp, a different power amp, and a different speaker. So they are going to sound different. And we will let you hear those in a few minutes. Now for most amps, they'll generally have EQ and verb. Uh, some amps have more effects in them. Two of the amps that we're gonna be looking at today actually have a significant number of effects in them. Just be aware that changing those effects on the fly as you're playing is a little tricky if you're relying on the amp to do it for you because we use both hands to play and then if I need to change a knob I don't have another hand so I have to stop playing to change that that's why we use pedal boards because you can control them with your feet however if you're practicing or you're exploring effects or it's not like a super high pressure performance situation it's not a problem to use the effects in the amp at all really so, the four amps that we have in stock under $500, we have the Boss Katana, we have the Fisherman Loudbox Mini, we've got the Wood Violins WVA-10D, that's a lot of letters, uh, and then the Yamaha THR series. So, let's get into what each one of these do. We're going to go in alphabetical order, no favorites here. So, the Boss Katana series is relatively new. You can actually see a little picture, oh, there it is, right here. Um, there are two different sizes. There's a 50 watt and a 100 watt. That's, you can see the price on the screen for those two. Uh, they have a ton of built-in effects. They have one input. It's a quarter inch input. And it's a fairly sizable speaker, but they're not super heavy. They're, they're actually uh, fairly, fairly light, fairly compact. Really nice amp. We like those. Uh, the Fishman Loudbox Mini. You see two prices there because there's a standard Fishman Loudbox Mini and the Mini Charge, and they both come in under $500. The Mini Charge has a battery in it, and you can uh, and you can go somewhere where you don't have electricity. Uh, they actually have two inputs. There's a quarter inch and an XLR input, and they both have Bluetooth. So if you want to run your tracks through there, you can totally do that. Uh, these are extremely popular. If there's anything the string community agrees on, it's that Fishman amps are pretty awesome. Uh, the Wood Violins WVA-10D is the budget amp here. This is the most accessible one. Has one input, does not have reverb, but it does have distortion and delay. It's a Mark Wood thing, so it's gonna have distortion and delay in it. Uh, and this is a, a very different amp. This is a fantastic little practice amp, and I would say for very, very small performances, uh, this might be a strong contender for you. And then Yamaha, man, you know, is there anything Yamaha doesn't make and make well? Uh, the THR series, we've got the 5 watt and the 10 watt, uh, $209, $329. One input, it's got distortion and effects in it, um, and it's got a headphone out. Not all these other amps have a headphone out, but the Yamaha does. So 
I'm going to play each one of these four amps for you. What we did is we set them up behind me. <clears throat> I stuck a mic basically, you know, eight or 10 inches in front of the amp. And what you're hearing is the microphone sound of, of just in front of the amp. And uh, I'll try to give you about 20 or 30 seconds of each one so you can kind of A, B compare these amps. <laughs> So you've heard each one of the amps. I'll give you just a couple notes on each one. The Boss amp is probably, the Boss and the Fisherman amp are probably the loudest of the two. I would say those would be good for a sort of a, a medium volume setting. I don't know whether either one of them can really compete with a drummer who's hitting very hard. But I'd say small to medium uh, size venues as long as you've got a relatively quiet stage. The, uh, the Yamaha and the Wood are really more sort of home practice amps. Neither one of them is really going to be loud enough to, uh, to do the job in a, in a band situation. Um, I will say the, the preamp, there are preamp settings on the Boss and on the Yamaha, and I use the acoustic setting on both of those as far as where the preamps and the amps are. I try to get into the preamp enough that you could actually hear the coloration of it and then use the volume to to kind of level them out as close as I could so that you were hearing about the same volume on each of those amps. So hope that was a helpful demo for you and uh, maybe help you decide which one of those amps is going to be best for you. As always, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out a couple other videos here, and we will see you next time.